migraines. So much fun. I'm not always good at remembering how to deal with migraines, so I decided to review a list I made a couple years ago about how to deal with migraines and stick it on YouTube as a kind of post-it note to myself, which I think is actually the second time I've used YouTube as a place to stick a video post-it note. Are video post-it notes a thing? They are now. Anyways, I finally realized that I can use my old iPhone that I've just been using for music on my speakers to uh, also look at the internet while I'm making videos, so yeah, about time I figured that out. And this list is on my blog, and I posted it on November 26th, 2013, so yeah, a few years ago. Number one, caffeine. Caffeine is my friend. Yeah, I actually say that on here. Number two, warning, possible TMI. Eat plenty of protein and some red meats before my period. In the past, my period was the trigger for my migraines. So the idea was to baby my body, give it exactly what it needs, and hopefully it wouldn't be so mean to me. These days, often enough, I don't know what the trigger is. Ah, stupid migraines. <laughs> Side note, also known as whining. All my body is doing is getting rid of an unfertilized egg. Why does it have to be so darn dramatic about it? Dang it! Number three, massage peppermint oil onto my temples and the back of my neck. Even if it doesn't help, it smells nice. Number four, chiropractor. Seriously, chiropractor helps so much. Which reminds me, I need to see the chiropractor again soon. The nice prescription drink that ibuprofen the doc gave me and our regular Tylenol. Which actually, that's now out of date. It was good while I had it available, although I tried to limit how often I got into it. Number six, dark chocolate and wine. It seems like I ought to be avoiding alcohol while I've got a migraine, but I tried it once out of desperation and it seemed to help. Also, dark chocolate helps everything. It still seems like drinking alcohol with a migraine is counterintuitive. Interesting though. Huh. Number seven, a heating pad for my forehead and or neck. Seems like that one should be easier to remember. Eight, when lying in bed with a pounding headache that makes any movement a bad thing, getting plenty of water is still impertinent. Thank God it's been a while since I've had a migraine like that. But yeah, no matter how bad the migraine is, drink plenty of water, still take the pain meds, even if you're hurting so bad that you just don't want to move. Just not doing those things will be worse. Aw, Siri. Somehow I turned Siri on and it thinks I said, you're hurting so bad that you just don't want to live. Siri's response, I'm just trying to help you. Siri's so sweet. Number nine, the vitamin B and magnesium pills daily. Too early to say if they'll help, but they certainly aren't hurting me. By the way, this is actually my relief. The doctor had told me I either get the vitamin B or magnesium pills separately or get them together in my relief. The my relief has helped. It it's, oh gosh, it pretty much wiped out the migraines for a while. Uh, migraines are coming back, but not as bad as they used to be. So on one hand, I'm trying to figure out, okay, do I need to find something else to help me now? But I'm also like, well, it's still doing some good. Number 10. Oh, this one is easy to remember if it's an issue. Sunglasses when I'm sensitive to light. It's funny, I have different symptoms with different migraines. Sometimes I'm sensitive to light, sometimes I'm not. It's weird. Number 11, never try to predict how a migraine will go or what symptoms I'll have. <laughs> Though seeing little blue lights and having sort of headache are pretty much a given. These days the little blue lights are not necessarily a given. Odds are it'll be mild, but the migraines seem to delight and surprisingly. But yeah, so hopefully this video post-it note will help me remember how to take care of myself. Migraines, even when they're mild, they're still a pain. Oh yeah, and also something I had not discovered when making this list, rubbing tiger balm on back of the neck really helps. I love tiger balm, it's so good. And it smells good. Kind of works nicely as a perfume. Anyways, I may or may not make more post-it videos, but I will definitely be making more stuff of various stuff. Dang, I'm so articulate. I will definitely be making more videos. So if you want to hear me ramble on some more, click the subscribe button.